you wasn't always successful, mm -hmm. but you was you, you've been married for what fifteen years? Uh, 16, sixteen years yeah. now. You married for sixteen years. Yeah. So you wasn't making the same amount of money that you're making now than you was when you first met your wife. Nah. Yeah. Right. But when you start making different amount of money, it's different levels. 100%. Yeah. People don't talk about that a lot. Yeah. Different type of temptation. We all say, oh, 100%. Hey, you know, man, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. you think you're that to become another, a different type of. 100%. How was that with the marriage, though? How, how, how was you able to, to deal with the family yeah. gaining so much success, smelling yeah. yourself sometimes, yeah. Yeah. dealing with the world? Yeah, I, it's, it's an up and down. You know what I'm saying? Like, like in the words of the Honorable Sean Carter, sometimes you up. Sometimes you're down as long as you stay the same and to come back around. Mm. Um, I think that the that the way so first and foremost, I think the way that you last in a relationship um is really uh having a friendship first. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So there's certain things that I just wouldn't do to my friends. You know what I'm saying? And so Integrity. It, you know what I'm saying? So when you are in a relationship, if if all I it, like if if all I was in my relationship with my wife was for was just like for sex or she's the mother of my children and that's it. Then it's easy for a temptation to happen, right? It's easy for me to be like to step out and do something that's disrespectful to my wife that I use for sex or my wife who's who's the mother of my children because there's no friendship. There's no friendship there. Mm. So I feel like um, you know, friendship is one of those things that help a relationship last because what happens is that you always you 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 will you will always uh for you will always love somebody, right? I don't care about love, I care about like. Mm. Right? Do I do I like you enough to be around you? Mm. Cause if I stop liking you, right? I got yo, there's people I love that I'll never talk to ever again in my life. Mm. Right? So love don't like so so if I say yo, I love my wife, I bet. Right? But 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 I also there's I'm, I'm talking about there's tons of people that I know. I, I love that person. Mm. I don't want nothing bad to happen to them, but I know I will never speak to that person ever in my life. Mm. Right? But do I like you? Do I like you enough to spend time with you? Do I like you enough to give you respect, right? Um, and so I think that dealing with the temptations was, um, you know, it was just about, you know, respecting my wife first and foremost. Like, I I never would want her to look, be out here looking crazy, number one. Number two is that we... Um, we've created a system where she's always been like my my, my biggest supporter. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So she's the she got me off the block, right? She was the reason why I was like, ah, you know what? I'm not I'm not playing the hood no more. You know what I'm saying? Like let me let me let me let me figure out you know you know what what real success looked like. Like let me be an entrepreneur. Like she always saw in me before I saw it. She would see like, yo, nah, you greater than this. Yo, nah, you should go that. So how would I? What would I look like? The person who supported me. The person who pushed me, the person who is is really the the reason why I could even generate all of this money and now get this money and now disrespect her by jumping out and and you know messing mm. with somebody else. So it's really about um you know understanding that yo you know at the end of the day you got to have a level of integrity, um but also you got to give yourself grace right. You got to give yourself uh you know grace to um you know mess up. And have those conversations, you know what I'm saying? So, so like I've never cheated on my wife, but I've, you know, I've done stupid things as a husband, as a father, um, you know, as a friend, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, but, but there's been this, you know, we've been able to have this level of conversation, uh, difficult conversations, and 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 you know, the ups and downs happen. But as long as we are committed, everything will work out. But you know, was one thing I feel like we don't touch enough just as men, yeah. especially in relationships. We talk about the community and proximity when we talk about getting money, right? Yeah. <clears throat> one thing I learned in the relationship, and I just got engaged. Uh, we've been together oh, for congrats. six years. Thank congrats. you. But I've learned that I had to get in a proximity of people who have, be, who are married. Oh, 100%. Right? 100%. I have to be in a community of people who have relationships 100%. because then I understand that. Damn, I'm not by myself. Yep. I'm not alone. Oh, 100%. Yo, it's so, it's, so, it's so funny. Even now, though, even now, like, all of my guys know that come a certain time, Ash is going in the house, mm. right? We, we have events, like my, like my own event. I'll throw a conference, and they like, yo, we're going to do, or we, I'll, we'll do a mastermind. they like, yo, we're going to do a pool party later. <laughs> they know. They're like, yo, a, yo Ash is not going to be there. Right. As, soon as, it, as soon as it's over, like, whatever, we, whatever, whatever the speaking part, Ash is out. Mm. He's not coming to the pool party. You're not gonna see him. You're not gonna see him at the bar. You're not gonna see him at the strip. Club. Like, like, and and but it's a known thing to the point where people don't even invite me now to certain stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because the truth of the matter is that, like, again, it's all about proximity. So if I'm married 
and I'm around all my friends who are not married, and I'm watching them pull. You know what I'm saying? Because we still men at the end of the day, mm -hmm. right? So I can still spot a bad joint. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so if I see a bad joint, and you got to think about it, when you get to a certain level, it's like, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm at It's levels. Cash, you know what I'm saying? It's levels. And so, you know, because... Whether like 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 people will see me right, women will see me, and I could tell. I'm like, all right, she she ready to give. You know what I'm saying? Like even if she married, she really like. But I could tell. But at the end of the day, I don't want to put myself in that situation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta. So 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 really, a part of uh, removing temptation is also removing yourself out of those situations, right? Because mm -hmm. what's gonna happen? I go to the pool party, chick start drinking get drunk and now she you know what i'm saying like chicks are bold you know what i'm saying you get to, like a chick if if she, if she want what she want a chick up is bold and it's not even it's not even worth being, it's, in, that it's not even worth being in that situation even if you can handle yourself it's just right. not even worth it exactly now you denying her or exactly. you know what i'm saying exactly it's, now now it's all bad you know what i mean so for you know so, so for the men out there i would just say like when you get like tempt part of curving temptation like yo get you be around you know, other married men, other people that, that's in committed relationships. And then, you know, you know what I'm saying? And, and take, you know, your friends will understand. Like, like I promise you, if you bring value to a situation, nobody's going to X you out because you don't hang out with them. Mm. And in, even outside of the temptation part, I thought, for me, I thought it was dope that because when you're going through things at home, yeah, right, sometimes like, I don't know. You don't know what you don't know. You don't want to tell your business to to, to anybody. You know what I'm saying yeah. you want to keep it at home. But what I've learned is, every nobody wants to feel like they by themselves, right? Right. So like when you going through, I'm gonna just paint a picture for the guys out there. You you going through your girl getting your nerves. I don't know. She mm -hmm. complaining a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So I was like, man, man, she just keep on complaining. Yeah. But what happened is, you might not. You only have to tell your business. Right. You're around your man that's married. The way you married for 15, right. 20 years. And he like, man, woman oh, right, she gonna exactly. do that. Facts. But now you're not looking for in the West because now you understand. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I think yeah. that's super important too. 100 Because that's the thing, right? Because I because because to that point, a lot of times if you if you don't have a like if you're not in a uh like if you if you're in a committed relationship and you talk to somebody who's not in a committed relationship, they're gonna <laughs> yeah. be like, yo, right. F yo. <laughs> You know what I'm trying to say? Like, yo, yo, we out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so now it's going to give into that temptation. To your point, though, now when you start being able to hear, right, mm. from – sometimes it's, it's actually hearing from the opposite sex, though, too, right? Mm. So I remember my wife and I, were, were like, we were, we were having a conversation. Actually, so she so she's the CFO of my business, right, for mm. all of our businesses or whatever. So a lot of the meetings we take together. So we was on a meeting, um, and we was talking to a gentleman – um, who has been married for 27 years. And so as 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 he start talking, he start telling my wife um, certain things that I used to tell my wife, right? Mm -hmm. And so he was like, yeah, you know, you know, me and my wife, we've been together such and such years, and, you know, I know she think I don't listen to her, but it's not that I don't listen to her. So he's, like, telling all this stuff. So she looked at me, and she was like, ah, Right, so now she not taking what I do personal because mm. she like, oh, that's a God thing, mm -hmm. that's a married man thing. Mm -hmm. It's not isolated to her. So like having, you know, you know, being in those environments not only help us as men, but it's it's vice versa. If if I'm talking to a married woman who's like, oh yeah, now nah, your wife is just doing that because X Y Z, it actually allows you to understand your significant other a little better. Sheesh, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yo, you said your wife is the C CFO. Did yeah. you? Like make her that, or does that like when, since you've been grinding, she always wanted to be a part of the, the business? No, nah, it, it 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 evolved into that. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, in the beginning, and, and and as as supportive as she was, um, in the beginning, it was this separation where she just wanted to do her own thing. She wanted mm -hmm. like her own identity, and so she would, you know, she she had her job. She was always like an HR person or whatever the, the case may be. Uh, but I think that for us, um. The higher you go, the more notoriety you have, the less people you could trust. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And so for us, it was like, you know, she was capable. Um, you know, she has the the ability to do it. She knows the business better than anybody else. Um, she has our best interests at heart. Um, and so it only made sense to 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 bring her into the to the business at that level. Uh, because she would never do anything to hurt me because hurting me is hurting herself and hurting the kids. Um, and so we had to kind of get to there. So there had to be a, a level of, um, I had to show her like, yo, I'm him. You know what I'm saying? And I think a lot of times when you try to work with family members, 
um, if you don't go hard for your dream, if you not, if you if if if, if you not showing you know, the, the, the your significant other family members or whatever, that you really do this at a high level, then it's going to be hard to bring them over. I think that at the moment she started to realize like, yo, this is like, they like people love me. People are buying my products and services. I'm building a, a, a brand that, um, you know, is recognizable. Then it's like, you know what? Let me, let me just go all in because let's not divide the energy. You know what I, I mean? I ask that bro, because again, in this society, right? We have so many people like, man, if your woman ain't coming and and and, and putting in the work with you or yeah. you know what I'm saying? And that sounds good. Yeah. But just from my experience and, yeah. and, and and a lot of the guys that I hear, a lot of times you gotta prove it to your wife. Like Why your what like your, your girl, your wife, your fiance, whatever, she ain't quitting her job to work for you unless you could pay for it. Right. No, but no, what no, happened no. is when you say it out loud, yeah, it sound it like oh she don't support you for real. Right. Why you gotta make so much money to pay her to be on your team right. for her, for her not to support you? Right. <sighs> nah, and you got you got you got think you got to think about it for, for, from this perspective is that like why you haven't given her a reason to support you? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 you. Let's not say support. My bad. Yeah. Because it's support. You like you can support me by saying keep going, babe. You right. got this. You you right. know what I'm saying? But to give up on what I got going exactly. on to work for you, 100%. I don't. I wouldn't even say that support. Right. And that's the thing. Like you like you haven't given her that reason. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like think think about think about all the times you 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 stopped and started. Think about all the times you got distracted. Think about all the times where you should be working, but you playing you playing games and you watch it. Like how how much confidence is that is that gonna give her? Mm. You know what I'm saying? And so I think again, it got to get to a level where. You have proved it. Not to see the thing, and here's the deal. And catch this. You only attract who you are. Mm. So the reason why your 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 girl don't believe in you, because you don't believe in you. Mm. You think you you trying to fight, you trying to use her as a scapegoat. You trying to say the reason why you're not at the level of success that you should be at is because you're not get, like your girl not there and she's not supporting you. And so you're trying to use that as an excuse. The truth of the matter is that the moment, right, Common said, yo, yo nobody believe until I believe me, mm. right? And so the mo the reason why she not supporting you because you don't support yourself. Mm. When you get to that point, when you believe that you are him, when you believe that, yo, this is what I do and I do this at a high level, there's an energy that come with that. And that energy attracts people to be like, yo, I don't know what he on, but he different. Facts. And that's that's when you get the support. So a lot of a lot of a lot of men and women are doing it wrong. Like they're looking for this outward validation where it starts within. When you get to that level, like, so you gotta think about it. The moment I was able to get my wife to Quit her job, work for the business full time. What what happened simultaneously? What happened was I had the biggest month of my life. Mm. Right? I made I made six figure. I made one hundred forty thousand dollars in two days. Mm. So now she looking like you did what? <laughs> right? But guess what? I like like to me though. I was like, yo, ain't nobody could tell me nothing. Right, because at because at at one point I was trying to make six figures in a month. Now I did that in two. I'm like, oh, this is di so now I'm feeling myself. And it, think about this, right? Think about this. There's a reason why the dude who ain't got no bread don't get no girls, cause he don't feel he don't got that confidence. He don't got that confidence. He don't walk with that. Yeah, he don't walk with that. Once you get you, once you give a dude bread. And now he he start feeling himself. Mm. The, the the women feel they they, they see, feel the they energy. feel that energy. Yeah, that's the same exact thing that happens at home. You not you not coming in in your house with no with no confident energy that you like you really do this. Once you believe and you like yo, I do this. You are gonna start to attract it. 